Hello everybody, it's here Brian Sings, and welcome to the November Q&A. Now, I apologize in advance for all the cuts that are going to be in this video because I'm using my uh, art program to read off the questions because I didn't feel like scrolling through YouTube trying to find them. So, uh, let's just dive right in, alright? Um, first question. You thinking about getting more into 2D art? Um, did you mean animation specifically? Because uh, I already do 2D art, but if you meant animation, then I guess I've considered it, but I'm better with 3D than I am 2D, so I don't know. Maybe? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, next question. Um, I know your inspiration of art and animation is really good. I used to do some animations, but they were not so good. So instead, I do wallpapers. You look like you took a lot of effort into it too but when i first used minimator that's when i had my character's hair green besides if you had a choice would you ever do a map not like a map map an animation map a uh, multi-animator project um yeah i guess i mean uh, it seems like something i would do well, i kind of have a look an idea of what i want to do but i'm not really 100 percent sure on that so i'll have to think on it but it's definitely a possibility i don't know if i'll make it 2d or 3d or like a combination of the two I think a combination of the two would might be better suited for those who, you know, want to join in. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see in the future. Next question. What inspired you to start with YouTube? Um, uh, what started, I mean, I, I don't know, like other YouTubers, I guess. I just kind of, you know, used to watch, I used, well, I still watch a lot of Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and... I used to watch a lot of PewDiePie way back when, but yeah, just watching other YouTubers kind of just really ins inspired me to do YouTube my it myself, but I don't know, it's just more of a getting my art and stuff out there sort of thing, because, you know, the Q&A is supposed to be um, art related, and I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, like a dingus, but yeah, that's basically what inspired me, is other people. Next. What other art programs do you use to make your art or animations, if you do use others? Um, I kind of use a combination of GIMP and Paint now. Like, I do Paint, or I use Paint to make the line art, and then GIMP for, like, the coloring and shading and stuff. If I, you know, do um, merchandise and stuff, but on occasion I might do non-merchandise stuff on there. It's just because I can use transparency on there and paint doesn't have transparency for some damn reason. But yeah, that's why I do that. Um, my animation specifically, those, the 2D ones is just a combination of paint and then using Win Windows Live Movie Maker for that. So yeah, I mean, if I can use other stuff, then I will sometime. But if not, that's what I'll just stick to because it's just easier. Next question. How many characters are there and who is Digit? That's a twofer. Um, how many characters are there? Like, specifically my characters? Because I have quite a bit now. Um, most of the time you just see um, a couple of my OCs, which is like three, I think. Jerome, Digit, and then my OC, Sandy. So, I don't know. I think this is in... You usually sometimes see other people's, which is usually my friend um, Jekyll's... Uh, Steve and Hero Brian. So I don't know. I have a lot of characters, just too many. Who is Digit? Um, yeah. Uh, he's one of my OCs. He's um, black and green. You, I think I've you've definitely seen him before. But Digit himself, it's hard to explain without you know getting into full detail. But with a basic description he's basically like a computer virus essentially as this works but now he's sort of reformed he used to be evil at one point but he's reformed now so he's a good guy of course in animations you may see him and he's a bad guy though so yeah that's a thing uh next question or questions whatever it is oh, okay questions is it hard to animate in 3d what do you use to animate in 3d uh, as mentioned before, somebody had mentioned Minimator. That's what I use for 3D animation, is Minimator. It's perfectly free, and they've been updating it again recently. I still use the community version, because I want to complete all my community stuff before I even bother switching over, so... Yeah. Um, is it hard to animate in 3D? Uh, 
I mean, it took me two years to get where I am now, so sort of. But if you work really hard at it, it's not as hard as you think. At least in my personal opinion. But it's definitely really fun to try out. But if 2D is more your, you should probably just stick with it because you'll probably learn better. But yeah, 3D animations can really eat up space on your computer though. So yeah, I, I don't know. Just do whichever you want. <clears throat> Next question. Uh, questions. <laughs> There's four. What is the main story of all this animations? Um, each one has a different story. Some I will definitely tell you if there's more to it. Like, for instance, I still need to complete uh, the Rainbow Factory series, which is just one more animation anyway. And I might redo the other ones eventually because I can do a lot better than what those were. So, yeah, all of them have different stories, and I usually explain what the stories are in the description if need be. But if you don't understand a story to some of the animations, feel free to really ask. I don't really mind explaining. What is the name of that wolf-slash-dog character wearing a red clothes? Uh, well, her clothes are actually orange, but eh. But that's Sandy. Her name is Sandy. She's um, basically also my persona, but, you know... Yeah, I'm a dirty furry, but it I don't know. She's just an old OC that I've had for ever since I was a kid. Back when I was in the Sonic fandom, actually, so. But yeah, her name's Sandy. That's that's all you asked. I don't want to go into explaining that. Um, when did you start animating and why you and why you started making animations? Um, I started animating two years ago. The exact time is hard to explain to pinpoint honestly I think it was in January which I think my my channel's anniversary is coming up soon and so I'll probably make a video about that um why you started anim making animations um I started making animations just simply because I wanted to I've always wanted to bring my stories to life and just 2d animation just wasn't really my thing and I've discovered that 3d animation was just easier for me it just came naturally for some reason Oh, my favorite question of all. Why you have not a lot of subscribers? Subscribers. I know you meant subscribers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It, it YouTube's a little weird these days, and it does, does take a lot of time. If you do share your my animations on, like, s websites and stuff, and I don't mean rip the damn animations off YouTube. Please share the actual link. Because you're doing more help with sharing the actual link to the videos. Um, yeah, just share my videos around if, if you really want me to, like, gain more subscribers. That's probably your best bet because half the time it's my videos are just suggestions to people, I think. So that's essentially how that works and that's how YouTube is. So, yeah, just share my videos if you really want me to get more subscribers. Honestly, it's helpful. Next question. Do, do, I'm assuming that was, what do you use to animate? Again, Minimator, really easy program to use and it's free. Next question. When you started to anim, when you started to animating, how was your first animation? Like, did you think it was better than you thought or worst? Um, it was okay, I think, at least for the time being, I thought it was pretty good. But my first animation, I think was something that I deleted and Eh, thinking back on it, maybe it wasn't the best, but it was pretty good for basics. Um, have you ever taken a dream that animated it before? Actually, yes. Um, the Sweet Dreams animation was actually based on a dream that I had had once. So, yeah, that's why it's actually incredibly dark. <laughs> my nightmares get bad. Um, how do you like my first animation? I didn't see your first animation. Uh... I'm sorry, I should have probably watched it prior to that, I'm sorry. Please don't hate me for it. Um, other than the crap lighting and color cements of my phone was, uh, I don't, again, I didn't watch it, so I probably, I, I didn't see it. It's okay. Um, what do you prefer for recording animation? For, for recording animation? What do you mean? Mm. Well, specifically my animations are window movie maker files, I think. So, all my animations are pretty much rendered in program. Uh, aren't I a great artist? I, I didn't see, I haven't seen any of your stuff. I can't really confirm or deny, deny that. 
And I would feel kind of bad if I said that you weren't, so sure. <laughs> How long do you work on animating every day? What's the hardest parts of animating and why? Um, animating itself, I sometimes I can just do a full animation in a burst of a day. But most of my other animations, depending on the length and how good I really want it to look, can take up to a couple of weeks at best. I mean, if I did more than what I did, it'd probably take like a month or so. So, I mean, eh, roughly I usually work on big projects. Like, I usually do an hour a day at best. So, that's that. Um, hardest parts of animating and why? Oh, definitely movement. Like, full body movements in cameras. Not I'm not talking about walking because they have set walk animations or, you know, walk animations are pretty easy to do. It's more of, like, attacking and stuff like that. Like, that stuff is hard to do. And, like, any movement is pretty hard to do if you don't know what to do or want to make, make it, you know, have a nice flow to it. But... If you do it enough, you kind of pick it up pretty quickly, so, you know, it, it's kind of hard, so. But, yeah, hardest part, definitely attacking animation specifically, because, yeah. Or, or maybe flying animations. Yeah, I don't do a lot of those. That's, that's, that's pretty hard. Next question. Who or what inspires your art style, and who are some artists that you look up to? Well, you're definitely one of them that I look up to because you're, like, one of my best friends, my dude. But, um, the person who made my icon is actually a friend of mine who I look up to. Their name is, uh, Gus. They have a YouTube channel as well. Really good friend. You should probably check them out. I'll probably leave a link in the description and stuff so you can check them out. Um, other artists. Oh, like, mostly, it's most of my friends, actually. Like, Jekyll... You, Gus, um, there's a lot of friends I have. <laughs> um, but who or what inspires your art style? Um, it's kind of like a combination of other things that I picked up from other people's art styles. Like, specifically the nose thing, I did pick up from an artist who doesn't like me anymore, so, or never really liked me, so, <laughs> but yeah, it's just kind of a combination of things that I just pick up, really. But, yeah, it's, it's just kind of how that, I work sometimes. Is I just pick that up from other artists. And I don't know if that it really counts as, you know, like, me taking people's art styles. I hope that does not how that works. But, yeah. Next question. Also, what animation application do you recommend for people that are learning animation for their first time? Did I already answer a question from you? I don't know. Anyway, um, animation application. I don't know if you mean 2D or 3D, but 3D specifically, if you want to do Minecraft, then Minimator, but any other type, I think you can get SFM for free on Steam, I think, if you want to do 3D. And they do have a lot of good stuff on there, so, like, model-wise. So I definitely recommend that. But if you're working for 2D, um, Flip a Clip is an okay application, I I've seen if you know what you're doing anyway um yeah 3ds it was a DSI program at one point um flipnote I have that it's pretty good if you know how to use it but I just pretty much use paint and like Windows Movie Maker but I can't really say what's good for people learning for the first time it depends on what you're looking for really last few questions here do you prefer the original art of things or the fan styles? Like Minecraft art with more details, smaller pixels, or MLP art with horses, more similar like real life horses, or more detailed? Or do you prefer the original? I hope you understand. Anyways, I go sleep because it's 11 o'clock at night in my country. Honey, I don't even sleep till like 3 a.m. in my country, so don't even worry about it. But, um, art, um, it can vary. I mean... With mine, obviously, when I draw Minecraft art, it can vary between, like, Minecraft style and then, like, my own style. So, it's very varying. But things like My Little Pony, which I actually do enjoy, um, it can vary. I mean, realistic horses can sometimes look a little strange to me because I'm so used to that pony style. But if people draw the ponies in a semi-realistic style, then that's perfectly fine. Um, 
The Minecraft art with more details. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine too. I mean, eh, I've never really seen any Minecraft art that I didn't really like before, so I don't know. But I uh, think yeah, that's basically it on that. Well, that's all the questions. Um, most of you kept to that art theme. I mean, I guess I'll count the animation questions as art, and I just kind of answered any questions I got because, you know, I didn't want to be rude. But yeah, the theme was art. Um, most of you stuck to that pretty well. Um, this video may end up coming up late. I hope not, though. But if it does, then I'm sorry. But, um... It's whatever. I, I've been really busy editing a friend's videos and stuff, and it's it's been a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. Let's move on to what December's Q&A will be, which, by the way, should be animated, hopefully, so I might end up closing up question, like, getting questions early for that, but... Let's see, the theme for cr December. Let's keep it Christmassy. Let's keep it in the festive themes. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, then I'm sorry, but... <laughs> that's what I celebrate, so I'm sorry if that's not what you celebrate. Um, you can just leave any holiday-based questions, I guess. But let's talk about presents and stuff. Like, how would you give me an example of what you want for Christmas? And I'll tell you something of mine, or you could just simply ask what I do for the holidays or something. Anything just related to, like, Christmas itself is fine I suppose so let's keep it to that theme thank you all for watching and listening to me ramble like an idiot and trying to be funny but yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next Q&A